Welcome back, guys. And we have a kind of different matchup, different to the last two games that we've seen. We're going to have ZVP again. It's going to be Gita Knight for uh, Nocturnal Gamers. And he's going to go up against All In Sniker, who showed some, a really great game. A really great, great hold. Tw no, two holds, to be honest. He held the first proxy um, from Praetor, and then he held. That really, really scary attack. And now he's earned himself a, a game against Gideon, the Zerg player, who's going to go for hatch first. I, I am super... Oh, it's going to be a proxy hatch. Okay, this is really cool. Oh, yeah, let's get right, this is right into this puppy. Oh, proxy hatch. Yeah, that's right. I saw the hatch, too, on the production tab. No, this is no normal hatch, is it? Yeah, this is strange. And it's going to be a while until he scouts it because, uh, if I'm not mistaken, there's a probot on the map already. Yeah, he's still. And, okay, he's gonna... it, and he sees the hatch oh. in his base. <laughs> or, you know, the other base. Okay, now he knows. Pulling a lot of probes. Yeah, I think you have to. I think this is actually from Gideon. It's actually not. He doesn't intend to do anything with his hatchery. It's just to block this Nexus for as long as possible. I know Blight does this a hell of a lot. And it, it's so annoying for the Protoss because he's just going to cancel this this hatchery and get all that money back and his nexus is just going to be so delayed which it really does affect the protoss does uh, he he's going to make an evo that would be pretty close yeah he... ah. oh, okay that was, that was... you got to be so quick for that to happen i know blight does it he, he can do it so well oh, oh and it's going to even be more <laughs> annoying and take this gas and with the delayed nexus you needed that he needed that gas earlier but i think the said will manage to cancel it sometime soon but Keenan is just macro. I mean, he, he definitely delays this hatch a little bit longer, but he's going to make up for it by going for a very fast third hatchery, which isn't going to get blocked. Oh, that's even worse Ooh. for Nike. Okay, this is a really good, really good start for Keenan. So, what, like, what can you do as Protoss in that situation? I mean, I guess you have minerals. You just build a bunch of gateways, maybe. He knows that yeah, the third he... base went down too. Yeah, I think I think you just got it. Except that it's so difficult because you really do want to take that nexus, and because it's it is a, a, a bit delayed, you're not going to throw. You can you have probably two choices: just retake that nexus and just be a bit behind, or just throw down gates and try and all in, which you really don't want to do against the zerg at this point. So I think it's just it's just so so annoying. A little bit of a move out here from uh, from Nitro, and the lings are moving across the map. I think he has enough links to uh, to contest this. Yeah, he's bringing him back around now. Yeah, I think he's just going to try and do some damage here, but he is just going to get out of there. I can imagine. There's six things on the way, and it's just not enough DPS in this army to cancel his hatch, but it is being pretty annoying, which is which is nice for for Nicro. But he, eventually, he's just going to have to disengage. You know, He's going to go home. Nice getting out of here before speed finishes, too. Yeah, that's also super important. You don't, you really don't want to lose that stalker because it's so good at clearing overlords at this point, especially on such a small map. Uh, and Keen has gone for overlord speed, so he knows everything that Nyker is doing. He's going to see the the Twilight Council, which is a pretty big deal. Am I and going, he's almost sort of like feigning some aggression here, showing some slow links. But back home, he's just making drones and evos and another big round of drones just coming out here. Uh, Snicro may not really know exactly what Gideon's commitment is to this, but he's got the wall yeah. he does, he has overcharges. I don't know if he can really change his, his build that much. Yeah, I think for now, he, yeah, he, oh, if he gets that stalker, that would be really, really nice, but I don't think he will. Just, oh, okay. <laughs> Barely. <laughs> that, that's really nice because now these overlords that you have free range. But he's going to go for Blink, which is really, really, really curious because most Protosses will either choose uh, Adepts, the Glaives for the Adepts, or for Charge. I, I can imagine this is just going to be maybe some kind of Immortal Stalker attack. But, I mean, he's adding on more gateways now because Blink really just it doesn't scale well against the Zerg because things and Bane just do so well against him. I wonder if he's just going to try and do one big attack and use that Blink Micro to try and do some damage. These Adepts are getting a lot of drones now. Yeah, four drones, but I think they're going to give their precious little Adept lives for it. But he gets some scouting too, so he's just on a, like a massive amount of drones on that third base. 
But still yeah, four drones just... coming out of Eden, sorry. I was just gonna say, he's warped in a lot of sentries here, and he's started to open even more stalkers. Gideon sees all he needs to see, but this this is definitely going to be some kind of blink uh, stalker all in with the sentries. He's just going to try and just get some really good force fields and uh, put Gideon's army against these force fields and start picking them off. But this is quite all in, I would say. He might try and take a nexus behind this. But because of the tech choice, I, Blink is really does not scale as I said er, late in the game, especially with the painting speed and the the links. And, and if even if, I can imagine, Keenan's going to go for Hydras at some point as well. And Hydras also just do so well against Stalkers because they uh, they're so quick and they outrange them. I, I believe they outrange them, but even because they're so quick, you can get top of, on top of them very, very, very quickly. But Keenan does scout it, and this is this is. He's, oh, he's here comes the Baneling drops. He's got he's got Baneling drops set up on both of these bases. Oh, those are oh 15 probes. Oh, that's that hurts. Okay. Yeah, now he, he has to end the game with this now. But I, I think Keenan just has to buy time. He needs Baneling speed. Baneling speed is so crucial here. Oh, some really good force fields. Oh, he's like a lot of army away. Okay, but the banding, oh, that's a really nice hit from the banding. And there's really 12 more links, a few more banding, and there's no more sentries. Okay, he's just going to crush this, and I can imagine take the game here. He has another banding drop getting loaded up on the uh, on the north side. 28 more links coming out. I don't think he's going to make too much, uh, I think he's going to make too much more progress to this attack down here. Yeah, and these banding, this banding drop, I can imagine is going to get even more damage beyond. He, I mean, he has to end the game here, and I just don't think he has enough. I mean, he's even warping in Adepts, which do so well against the Lings, but not in this number. He does have really cute Blink Micro, but this is this is just going to be crushed. And even more probes are going down in the base. Oh. I don't know how he only got two Lings with four Bane Lings, but uh, I, think they, I think they rolled into the Assimilator. Like, the, the, the probes are going in, and they ended up just, like, hitting the building. But, uh, still pretty good. I think... He's starting to get a bit of damage done with it. I mean, even if he gets the hatchery, I still don't think it's enough. But yeah, I think now Keen is just going to overrun him. And this should be GG. It has to be GG. I mean, there's really no point staying in this game. He's just so far behind. He's a base behind. He's, As I said, he really is behind in tech. Blink Stalkers do not scale well. He's going to keep going for it, but I, I just don't think he has enough. I don't think he will ever have enough. His economy is just not good enough to sustain this attack. No, every number is is pretty sad here, but he's you know he's making a go of it, putting everything he's uh everything he's got here for his plan. But I think I think he just is a little bit too strong, a little bit too meta with the opening. Ooh, Adams do kill links pretty well. Did yeah, but there's, there's so many links on the way. Oh, and one good uh, banning shot just. Weakens them up with these links. Yeah, yeah GG's called. GG. I think most of Eaton's army was like on the other side of the of the map during that. Anyway. I didn't even I see that, see but yeah, that it was super brutal. Those bailing drops. Those, those are effectively what won in the game. I mean, he did hold very well, but it was so all in from Nyker. Even if he got that base, he just did lost a ridiculous amount of of workers and that just wasn't a recoverable position. I could it wasn't even like a super passive banling drop. Like he flew over one half the mineral line and dropped two banlings and then moved it to the other half and dropped the other two. Uh so yeah. well well done by Geaton. I mean he got like everything he could dream of too. And he had it there for a bit and when he saw the army moving out through the middle of the map, then he sent that one up the left side. Really really nicely, really nicely done by Geaton. Well that's gonna tie up the series uh, for NG and uh, see who they're gonna send out next. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really excited because I mean we haven't had a series like this so far. Even when Sysom did take that series four two, it it never got to a two all situation. It was always looking like Sysom was gonna take that that series, but now we re it really could go either way. I'm not sure which one this could go. It it's. Really, really exciting to see, and I'm really excited to see who Risen picked next. I'm hoping it's a Terran. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's right. I'm not a Terran at all today. I'm a Terran player, so I'm pretty biased. But all right, well, we yeah. will uh, toss it over to Felipe, who uh, y'all probably have been missing for the last couple minutes. So, Felipe, it's all you.
thank you so much, Apogee. I want to talk, um, I want to first give a big thank you once again to Dagor from the StarCraft II Reddit community. He is one of the admins there, and he generously donated $150 to the prize pool for this event. So I'm sure the players are very grateful for that. If you want to be notified when we release videos like this, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. If you don't know where that is, I'm not going to teach you how to use the internet. There's probably no hope for you.